And we're back for the final installment of Michael Welch introduces the course Torture and Human Rights. And we're going to spend this episode uh, looking at the course syllabus that I've posted on the Canvas webpage. And I want to point out a few things. This says it's revised on the 18th of August. When you log in and go to the syllabus, always check that date because I'm going to be uploading more material, revising items as we go along. So I will probably be making adjustments, revising the syllabus once or twice a week. But I will always change the date. So next time you visit this, if it says the 24th of August or the 30th or September, whatever, um, that will indicate that I've been logging in and adding items for you. All right, so let me remind you, this is as best as I can pull it off. This is one-stop shopping. I like to put everything as best we can in one place, the course syllabi. There's one exception here which says files. So follow the cursor to this button here where it says files and click that. And as you can see, all those items that we talked about in the previous episodes, these images from ESMA, from Moretti, Atletico, Uncle Sam, etc., etc., as well as the PDFs are all deposited right here in this in this file. One-stop shopping in addition to the file. So this is very compact. This is the way I designed it and hopefully um, you will find it useful and easy to follow. But what I want to do in the next um, 10 minutes or so is to just go through these items. Uh, I don't want to repeat the purpose of the course since we've already spent an entire episode looking at that. Um, but here's the required readings. So double check this list to the items in the files folder. Again, you're going to have to download clinical torture, drifting in the atrocity triangle. That's the, the Onyati article. Just go to that link and download it yourself. Uh, suggested readings, we've done all that. Let's, let's talk about course evaluation for a moment. There's going to be two exams and a final project where total semester reports points is 300. Now these exams for this course are take home, open book, open notes, open mind, covering lectures, 50% of the exam. And the lectures refers to these, these videos that include my field work in places like Buenos Aires uh, and Belfast and so on and so forth. And 50% are the reading assignments. And we'll look at that in a moment because I've, I've, I've scheduled everything week by week. And you will rely solely on the Welch readings and no outside sources. Precious points will be awarded to essays with insightful titles. Okay. Be clever. Now, you're probably wondering at this stage, what on earth would a take home, open book, open notes, open mind exam look like? Well, I left this item on my website, professormichaelwelsh.com. So that, you know, go back to, to this. That link is on the website, on the syllabus, I should add. And we'll just click through this splash page Go to course syllabi, follow the cursor, easy enough, and go to torture and human rights. Now, even though this is not the syllabus per se that is going to be followed for this course that we're taking in fall 2020, I did leave a, an example of what a paper um, might look like. And I'm going to change these for the take-home exam as well as for the final project. 
but um, I'm going to leave these here at this website just so you get an idea of the kinds of things I'm thinking about. Uh, again, these will be different items, but the subject matter will be similar, and that will allows us to get back to the syllabus here. And the final project, these are all six pages, single space, 12 pitch, all right? Again, precious points to critiques with insightful titles. I really like clever, insightful titles. Give me an idea where you're going with your, your narration in the form of your paper, your take home exams. Now, Here's the schedule. Now, I've posted all of these videos of my field work, which, is the, which constitute the lecture series for this course on a YouTube channel, Professor Michael Welch. Very easy to remember, as long as you remember my name. And so if you go to that link, this is what you're going to see already lined up through your viewing. ProfessorMichaelWelsh.com, recognize the icon, yep, I'm in the right place. You can see it right there in one of the videos. But you're going to really appreciate this. What I have done, sorry, more items. What we have done is week by week. So the first week, you're going to read in the sites of Operation Condor, Memory and Afterlives of Clandestine Detention Centers. That's that PDF that's in the folder of, called Files. And you are going to view the lecture series, the intro to the course Torture and Human Rights. Now, those links are not posted yet because we're recording them as we speak. I will post them momentarily. And I will change the date of the revised syllabus. But we're going to go to a couple of other cities in the first part of this course. Cities. I study cities and I study detention centers, former prisons, and torture museums located in global cities. And first we're going to go to, to Amsterdam. All right? And that is several episodes. This is going to keep you busy. These episodes are about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to have part one, keep going, keep going. Now notice that I have already embedded each of these episodes on the syllabus. One-stop shopping. There it is. Everything is laid out for us. The table is set. Let's dig in. Part two of the Amsterdam Torture Museum. Now, the reason for these torture museum episodes is to give you a historical understanding of the evolution of torture. And you're going to experience some nervous laughter. And that's okay, because laughter, from a psychological standpoint, is a release mechanism. It's cathartic, because tension builds up. Anxiety of looking at these torture instruments on display in the Amsterdam Torture Museum. These episodes are also, um, they are amenable to you and your friends and maybe some of your family members if they're not terribly young. But uh, you can watch them with, with, you know, with your friends, your family. You can you know, add some discussion amongst you. You can then also impress your friends and family about how knowledgeable you've become about torture. Uh, there's just so much potential. And... Now we're part two of the Amsterdam Museum, and that brings us to th week three. And week three is more uh, attention to in the sites of Operation Condor. That's a lengthy document, and you're going to need some time to really absorb its details. And now we have moved to the Clink Prison in London. More torture more confinement, more historical narratives about this phenomenon of punishment torture that will lead us to make some informed conclusions about human rights. And that's as far as we got up to week four. Now I'm going to be busy putting together more videos for you, especially from the, from the southern cone of Latin America. 
And then on the fifth week, we're going to have our first exam, first take home, open book, open mind, take home exam. Uh, I like to schedule things on the fifth week. The tenth week would be the second exam, and then the final project is due at the end of the semester. I like getting ahead of the of the traffic that you're going to have with other courses. You're going to have other professors right there in the midpoint of the semester is going to demand that you hit their deadlines. And I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather get out ahead of the traffic, ahead of the competition, to allow you to concentrate on this course. Now, moving right along, follow the cursor. We're just going to go through week 16. I'm going to keep adding these links, embed these videos, and that's pretty much it. It's all one-stop shopping, and the files are available for you for the PDF articles as well as the images from ESMA in Buenos Aires. So let me leave you with the first episode of the Amsterdam Torture Museum. And then I am, I've had enough coffee, folks. And so as you watch the 40 seconds of this clip, and then I'm going to switch it off, um, let me just make, make one final announcement. We work really hard, and I've done these five videos uh, working all day on this. So let me just announce that uh, the bar is open. Cheers. Amsterdam Torture Museum. Amsterdam. The Amsterdam Torture Museum. This is uh, the first of five episodes for part one. Part two 